what can I be doing? I want more opportunities. I want more auditions. I want to get them in the rooms more. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So if you don't have an agent and you're not getting submitted, you're not getting in the rooms that you want to, or even if you do have an agent and things aren't working the way you want it to, Hi there, Jody Bentley here, actor, brand strategist, and career coach. And today I want to talk about three things to do if you don't have an agent, or even if you do have an agent, these are really important things to do. Okay, so God, I get asked all the time from actors and my clients, what can I be doing? I want more opportunities. I want more auditions. I want to get in the rooms more. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And you guys, it's all based in relationships, right? It's all based in you building relationships with the people you want to work with. It's not the, oh, it's all, you know, it's all who you know thing. So then you feel like, oh, I'm on the outside. I know nobody. No, relationships is about you building relationships, intentionally, directly, creatively building relationships with the people you want to work with. So if you don't have an agent and you're not getting submitted, you're not getting in the rooms that you want to, or even if you do have an agent and things aren't working the way you want it to, your job is to build relationships. So if your goal is film, let's just say that, say your goal is film, go to film festivals, build connections. Watch the short films, watch the features, reach out to the, the directors or the writers or the producers that resonated with you, that tell the stories you want to tell. Go there and meet people, in, in build out your circle, share who you are, and go and create a network. That's part of your job. That's what you get to do. Then you can go back to your agent and go, hey, you know what? I went to this film festival. I met so-and-so director and so-and-so director. So if they ever come in the breakdowns, just know that I met them. So let's make a note you know, in my spreadsheet of all my relationships that I met these people. So that way you can be proactive. You can reach out. You can take them out for coffee. You get to solidify and build those relationships. So if film is your goal, go to film festivals, meet all the up and coming writers, directors, producers, and even other actors. Because you want to build that circle of people that you want to work with. Now, if TV is your goal and you don't have an agent, or even if you do, but you want more auditions, create a targeted list of casting directors who cast the shows that are the stories that you want to tell that fit your brand and fit you like a glove. Build your targeted list of CDs for television. Find them on social, build a social media campaign, meet them in workshops, find mutual connections, follow them on Instagram or TikTok, comment on their stuff, start to build the relationship. Become a familiar commodity to them. That's how things get done, especially if you don't have someone who's pushing you or pitching you to get in the room. It's up to you to build those relationships. And even so, it's still up to you to build those relationships. I think a lot of people think once they get the agent, it's the end all be all, I'm done. I've done everything I need to do. No, you still get to market and build relationships. So I'll say theater is your goal. I did this when I was in New York. I had to Google if it still existed and it does. Get the theatrical index. I would buy the theatrical index, I think twice a year, probably. Um, and what that is, it's it, it's a whole, it used to be a printed booklet. I'm not sure if you can get it online now, but just Google theatrical index. And it's all the stuff that's being produced, Broadway, off Broadway, and at the big regional houses. And you can see what their seasons are and what's coming down the pike. Then you can reach out directly to artistic directors. That's what I used to do. I would send them a headshot cover letter, snail mail. Now we can probably do an email, right? And send them links to your stuff. But say, hey, I saw this, this, this show is part of your season. I've done this show twice. Or hey, this, this really resonates with me. I'd love to audition for you. When auditions open, here's my stuff. And I would get called in uh, and get appointments and not have to go to the open calls because I reached out directly to the artistic directors. So get that theatrical index. Pay attention to what the regional theaters are doing and reach out directly to the quote unquote gatekeepers there and build those relationships. And also if theater's your thing, go to all the, um, the, the, the theater festivals, the musical theater festivals, whatever they are, and do the same thing with the film goal network, 
right? Meet the people um, whose uh, musicals or plays resonated with you, the directors, writers, producers, and connect, connect, take them out for coffee, follow them on social, build your community. It's up to you to build your community. So if you want more auditions, that's the way to do it. So I know it sounds like work, a little bit of work. That's okay. You ain't scared of work because you want this. This is your goal. This is really your goal. If film is really your goal, TV is really your goal, theater is really your goal, then let's focus on what you can control. And everything I just listed in this video is, is what you can control, is everything that you can control. So connect and meet the people that tell the stories you want to tell to create more opportunities for you and eventually your team. All right, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.